The countdown to Rutgers annual spring game on April 23rd continues as the Scarlet Knights wrapped up day five of spring practice where they had their first live scrimmage. I'm Fatima Tadiallo and today we're taking an inside look at the offensive line with none other than offensive line coach AJ Blazik. Coach, every time I see you on the practice field, you're just pumped up, excited, ready to go. How exciting is it to be coaching again? Uh, you know, it's excited to be coaching here in the East. You know, it's a new area for me. Um, but the fun part is you walk through those doors and you get between the white lines. Uh, you ask anybody that's ever played for me or been around or parents, my players, I, I, that's been me since day one in Fort Hayes, Kansas. Well, what are your overall impressions of practice today? Uh, you know what, it took us a while to get going, but guys are starting to understand what the positive energy does. Hey, 75, 100, whatever plays are going to be in a the game, they're not all going to be perfect. And our, our guys started figuring out, you know what, it's not about me. It's not about my mistake, my block, my drop, my throw, whatever. It's about each other. So if I make the mistake, the other 10 are picking me up. And as that energy grew today, um, it took the coaches to get it going, but I'm telling you what, our leaders took and ran with it. Um, and it, it made the difference at the end of the scrimmage. And adapting to the new spread offense, how do the responsibilities of the offensive line change, especially what they're used to in the pro-style offense? You know, responsibilities are going to be the same. X's and O's, that's not changed in, you know, 100 years. But uh, the difference is the style we play, the tempo at which they got to go. They got to get up, they got to get set. And, you know, you go from in a huddle where you get to catch your breath and then you break, go snap the ball. Well, no huddle, you better sprint if you want to break. Because right. if you jog, there ain't going to be no break. And so uh, the thing we're really doing is learning to put the pedal down. And how would you say the offensive linemen adjusted to the new scheme so far? They've been awesome. I mean, they've been so wide open to learning, and, and they come in and ask for extra study and questions off film, and I, I've been way impressed with them. You know, i got to do my part and make sure I'm coaching their tails off. And on Thursday, Coach has said that the offensive linemen have undergone a physical transformation. What are the goals for their bodies? Ideally, what would they look like? <laughs> well, it's a transformation, maybe even an understatement, because I think I'm the only guy in the room that's gotten bigger since I've gotten here. Uh, we've, we've had, we had three guys lose over 30 pounds since we showed up in January. Uh, we've got one young man that has lost 50 pounds. And what it's done is changed the energy. It's changed their mentality, their confidence in themselves, um, and the way they go about their business. And that's really the biggest difference in what we're doing is just the tempo and the attitude you play with. Right. And thank you so much for joining yeah. me today, Coach. You, but before we go, Coach Blazik has a public service announcement for all Rutgers students. Rutgers students, Riot Squad, two weeks, April 16th. Everybody talks about us and our social media and how we got to improve. I want to hear the juice for two weeks on social media about Student Appreciation Day right here in the bubble for practice. Pack the bubble. That's the goal. Well, there you have it. Be there or be square. Reporting from the bubble, he's your offensive line coach, A.J. Blazik, and I'm Fatima Diallo.